This is our video number 11 on payroll accounting in Delhi RB9. And in this video, we are going to create a graduate pay hat in Delhi RB9. So we need to create graduate pay hat for two types of contract. One is limited contracts and unlimited contracts. So you need to keep you need to remember these important points when you are creating a graduate pay heads in Delhi RP9. That in the UAE we have two type of contracts. One is limited contracts and the other one is unlimited contracts. According to the federal law of the UAE, an employee is entitled to receive graduate after completion of one year of continuous service irrespective of the contract type which could be a limited or unlimited to calculate to compute graduate in ua payroll enable company in delhi rp9 we need to create two graduate pay head one for a limited contract and other one is for unlimited contract we can create a pay head like this we have graduate limited contract graduate unlimited contract so what is a calculation? How to calculate a graduate in UAE? So calculation for limited contract graduate pay. So in this video, we're going to discuss that how to calculate graduate for a limited contract. So less than one year of service. If you work in a company less than a year, then you are not entitled to receive any graduate from the company between one year and five years of services if you work in a company more than a year or up to five years then you're gonna in uh, you're gonna receive graduate pay based on 21 days salary for each year of work then if it is more than five years then you will receive graduate pay based on 30 days salary for each year of work. So what is a formula? How to calculate this graduate uh, in UA? So for example, uh, the basic salary of an employee is 10,000. So if you divide by 30, which is a per month, so it will calculate, it will give us the daily wages, the daily salary of the employee. So which is 30, uh, 333.30. So as per the UAE law, that if you uh, work in a company more than a year or up to five years, then the full graduate pay based on 20 day, uh, 21 days. So that is our uh, daily wages multiply with the 21 days salary. So that is 6,936.30 fills. So that is, or if you round off this, that is a 7,000. So that is the total graduate for a year or up to five years. Similarly, if you spend more than five years, then you can multiply your daily wage with 30 days. And this will give us the, so uh, the total graduate pay of that specific employee. If it is more than five years so hopefully you understand this formula the calculation for a limited contract so how to create this graduate uh, pay hat for a limited contract in Delhi RP9 so for that we need to go in payroll info enter and in payroll info, we have pay heads, enter, and we need to create, enter. So here you can give the name that is graduate limited contract or contracts, enter, enter. That is what pay head type is, that is graduate. So you need to select here graduate, then graduate days of a month. So that is 30 days and uh, then that is the number of years from 1 to 12 so that is a 12 uh, like one year and uh, and uh, eligibility days for 
tragedy calculation per year. So as per the UA law, it is 21 days. So here you need to enter 21, enter. So then from 12 to next year, so that is 24. So that is for two years, enter 21. So similarly, you can add one by one. So it's a, it's a limited contract up to two years. So after this 24, I'm gonna enter here zero, enter 21, enter. And that is what provian. Why it's a current liability? Why it's a provian? Because we are not paying this gradually. It's a liability of a company that we will pay once this contract is uh, expired or finished. So it's a provian. It's a liability that we need to pay. So it's under the provian. And uh, then a rounding method, we can take it as a normal rounding. And limit is 1. Enter. And save it. So this is how we are, create, we are creating a gratuity uh, pay hat for a limited contract in Delhi RP9. Enter and save it. So our next step is that after creating this uh, gratuity pay hat for a limited contract, if you want to see the effect, if you want to check the effect or the report of gratuity pay hat, that how you can display, how you can check the report. For that, we need to go in display in display, we have payroll reports. In payroll reports, we have this gratuity. So right now, there is no data. Why? Because we did not enter the salary detail. We're going to enter the salary detail uh, in our next video, that is uh, in our next topic. But right now, uh, if the salary details are entered, then it will show us the list of all that employees with their date of joining, date of leaving, gratuity eligible salary and the total amount of a gratuity but right now there is no data why because we did not enter the salary details here but I'm going to show you that how you can see the effect by entering the salary detail which obviously we will cover in the next video but I'm going to show you a demo only so for that we need to go in payroll info in payroll info we have salary details enter and we need to define enter and I'm gonna define it for the employee which is Ali enter so effective from the date 2020 here I'm gonna enter this uh, that we have the basic salary is 1000 dirham enter we are paying uh, let's suppose convenience allowance and then we have a graduate for limited contract this topic salary details we're gonna cover in, an, in, in our next video enter end of place so this is how we are entering the salary details now if you want to see the effect now that how much is the salary for a one year for this employee so for that we need to go in display again in display we have payroll reports in payroll reports we have graduate enter and here you can select the period wise let's suppose this employee Ali he joined the company on 1st January 2019 and his uh, that uh, the contract will expire on 31st uh, January 2020 so press enter so if you go here if you press enter drill down the report so here it will show us that employee name is Ali date of joining is 1st January 2019 till date till 31st December uh, that uh, 2020 that is the number of uh, that months he worked. So that is 13.20. So graduate days of a month that is 30. Graduate eligible salary that is the basic salary which is 1000 there. So from 1 to 12. For a one year uh, eligible, uh, eligibility days for a graduate, uh, graduate per year as per the UA law it is 21 days. So the total graduate amount is 700 there. So this is how you can view this report. In this video, we are not discussing that how to pay the gratuity. Here we are discussing only that how to create uh, a gratuity pay head for a limited contract in Dell ERP-9. So if you want to verify this amount, that it is uh, as per the UAE uh, law or no, so we are going to the Dubai uh, development authority website where they give us that the gratuity calculator online so we fill uh, that is the official website of Dubai development authority 
So here we enter this parameter, the contract type is limited. Separation is that he resigned or terminated, so he resigned. And that is the first working date, 1st January, 20, uh, January 2019. And last working date is also uh, January 1st, 2020. So the basic salary is 1000 there. Huh? So when you click on this calculate, so the, uh, the total gra gradually calculated, that is 700 dirham also. So you can check also in Delhi RP9 for the one year, the total amount of gradually is 700 dirham. So this is how we are creating uh, the gradually pay had for a limited contract in Delhi RP9.